But this is the story of the Sahabi Abi Lubaba. Abi Lubaba. And I told this story so many times, but every time I tell this story, subhanAllah. Wallahi, you see something other than what you saw last time. You heard something other than what you heard last time. Abu Lubab radiallahu anhu was the man who denied the yatim a tree. A tree. Palm tree. A yatim who lost his parent. He was overprotected over his wealth. Wanted to build a wall between him and his neighbor. But there is a palm tree, there's a date tree in between. And this boy cannot continue with the wall until that is either removed or is added to his farm. And he went to Abi Lubaba, his neighbor. Qala ya Abi Lubaba, that tree, give it to me so I can construct the wall. Qala la. No, it's mine. He said, well, sell it to me then. He said, no. So Allah, I'm going to claim to Rasul, complain to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A kid, a child. So he went to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulullah, Abu Lubaba, is not willing to sell me the tree, or oh, Allah, give it to me, Ya Rasulullah. Yet Rasulullah said, where is Abu Lubaba? Call Abu Lubaba. So he called Abu Lubaba, Ya Abu Lubaba, give him the tree. La Ya Rasulullah, this is my haq. Ya Abu Lubaba, sell it to him. No Ya Rasulullah, it's mine. Subhanallah. I'm sorry. <laughs> when they learn Abu Lubab is being questioned by Rasulullah, they knew that Abu Lubab is not doing everything the way he should think should be done. And Abu Lubab got very offended. It's my house, my tree. I'm, I'm, I'm just a kid. He's taking this case to Rasulullah. So when the man said, La ya Rasulullah, I'm not giving to him. Tears came from the eyes of that Yatim, Ya Subhanallah, Yatim. There's no father to speak for him. Give him, give my son this. No, his father died. And Rasulullah cannot use his authority over this man because this is haq. Give him a branch from Jannah, this, and you will have a tree in Jannah. He said, I don't want it. A tree in Jannah, Ya Abu Lubaba. He was so mad. He said, I don't want it. And he got up. Abu Dahdah radiallahu anhu. And you always find those Muslim individuals who are opportunists, Ya Ikhwati Fila. In khayr. You know, they don't waste time. They don't, you know, wait, oh, inshallah, next Ramadan I'll pay the sarakah. No. Opportunities with khayr. They are very greedy when it comes to hasanat. They are building the mansions, the houses in Jannah. Abad, Abad Dahdah radiallahu anhu. He said when the Ansari went and the little kid cried, he came close to Rasulullah and said, Ya Rasulullah, if I purchase that tree back, can I get the same offer? And it's the same deal. It's not, a, it's not a boxing day kind of stuff. It's not, it's not a Christmas sale. But I want that little tree in Jannah. You know, I'm businessman, subhanAllah. Qala <laughs> na'am. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave him the approval. Yes. Aba dahdah. Qala ya aba lubaba. Ata'alimu bustani. Do you know my hadiqa, my garden? Some of the ulama said it has 400 trees. Others, they say 600 trees. One of the best. His house is there. This is the thing that he has, subhanAllah. Qala ata'alamu bustani. He said, yes. Qala huwa lak bitilka shajara. It is yours for that tree. Abu al was like, are you out of your mind? You know, are you intoxicated? What's wrong with you? 400 trees for one? He asked the people, be a witness. He went, and that kid is still there with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Oh young boy, the tree is yours. 
The tree is yours. Abu Dhahdah radiyallahu anhu went to the his father's farm. And this is the most beautiful thing in Ikhwati Fillah. Abu Dhahdah, he gave 400 trees for a tree in Jannah. And then he goes where his wife and his children are. And he calls her. Qala yawm al-dahdah. Outside, he did not even go in. He says, yawm al-dahdah. SubhanAllah. He said, yawm al-dahdah. Qalat labbayka ya abu dahdah. You know, yes, abu dahdah. قال خروج أخر الدفوان قالت لما why قال قد بعناها لله ولرسول when he saw the Torah Allah and his message صلى الله أم الدهداء رضي الله عنها قالت ربيح البيع يا أم الدهداء what a successful deal what a successful deal يا أم الدهداء يعني they lost everything and then Abu Dahdah took his kids out of the farm. And the kids were carrying some of the dates. And the wife would take the kids, she would grab the child's hand, open it, take that date, throw it back, and she would say, That is for Allah, oh my child. This is for Allah, not for us. But Abu Dahdah radiallahu an was not satisfied with the thing that he gave. In the battle of Uhud, when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was injured, when Uqbat ibn Abi Waqas threw rock on the face of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, broke his tooth, cut his lip open on the right side, and then Abdullah ibn Qami'ah عليه من الله ما يستحق. He came from behind and Rasulullah is injured from that rock on his face, and he came from behind and he hit him so on his shoulder. But Alhamdulillah did not cut his shoulder because Rasulullah was wearing two armor. But he was complaining about that injury for months. And then Abdullah bin Shahab al Zuhri. He hit the face of Rasul, hit the head of Rasulullah, and his head was open, and the blood was gushing from the from the head of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And Ubaidah and Talha bin Abi Talha bin Ubaidillah was trying to defend Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Subhanallah ya khutifillah. And seven or five of the Ansar. Every time Rasulullah could not get up, could not stand up. And every time that an army approached, Rasulullah would say to them, Who is my neighbor in Jannah? And stop these people. And the Ansar, and the Ansari would go until all of them were killed. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam after this he came after the battle was over and he started turning and searching for the people who were killed and who did he find in Ikhwati Fillah? He found Abu Dahdah killed Abu Dahdah being killed and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he kneeled down and he looked at him and he said, Kam li abi dahdahin min itqin radahin fil jannah. He said, Now, how many trees in jannah for Abu Dahdah? How many trees in jannah for Abu Dahdah? What did he lose, ya ikhwati billah? How much did he give up for this dunya? Not much. But now he's enjoying this. 